was kind to everybody. She was, she loved everybody, no matter who you were, what you do, whatever. Annie Moore says her older sister only knew kindness. She didn't know a stranger and treated everyone as if they were a friend. She also didn't drive, she walked. So they called her the Ogden Walker. So if you know that woman that's been walking Ogden Avenue, that's her. <laughs> Family says that's all Robin Robinson was doing, walking from the store when she lost her life. According to Downers Grove Police, they were called to the 600 block of Ogden for a report of a hit and run just after 9-10 Thursday night. When officers got there, they found Robinson in the road. She didn't make it. It's almost as though it's not a living human being, and she was a living human being. She was full of life. Employees at area businesses say Robinson would wave and say hi when she passed by. The first thing they always noticed, a smile on her face. Even if they didn't know her well, they say her death has left them heartbroken. Emotionally, you know, impactful, shall we say. You know, and, you know I heard about it this morning. My James Bond Harris says he has run into Robinson over the years. Her family says she's worked at Julasco for years before that Ace Hardware and the DuPage Inn, a familiar face to many in the community. It's, yeah, it's just unsettling and police say a witness told them the suspect vehicle was dark in color, possibly a small to mid-sized Honda sports utility vehicle like a Honda CRV. Investigators say the vehicle likely has damage to the front end or the wheel well area and they found car parts manufactured by Honda, but say it could also belong to an Acura. Say something, do something, you know, do the right thing. Uh, that we need closure. We need the right thing to be done. Um, so if you know the person that did this, um, please report them. If you see a vehicle that has damage on the front end, ask the person how it happened. That's all family says they're asking for, for a woman who loved life, her family, and for her partner, Chuck, of more than 25 years, who loved her more than words can say. It's, it's devastating, but, um, and really surreal to say that my sister is dead. She's been killed. That's even more surreal. She's not just dead. She's been killed. And uh, we need justice. Downers Grove police are asking anyone with information, surveillance video, anything that could help investigators bring justice to this family to give them a call. For now, reporting in Downers Grove, Courtney Spinelli, WGN News.